Market set to rally this morning. Can it continue? That's coming up on three minutes on Markets and Money. In yesterday's daily market commentary on the website at realinvestmentadvice.com, we talked about the 200 week moving average and why this was critical support for the markets. Again, while we've been in a very big correction this year so far, we're not technically in a bear market yet because we haven't violated this long-term bullish trend of the 200-week moving average. In fact, if you go back to 2008 as a good example, we saw a very clear violation of that 200-week moving average. The same occurred back in 1999, also back in 1974. So in big bear markets, that's when you see this violation of the 200-day moving average that leads to a bigger downturn. And that's often confirmed by, or actually always confirmed by, a move of the 20-week moving average below the 50-week. And we have not done that just yet. So again, right now, importantly, Markets bounced off of that 200-week moving average yesterday, confirming that support, looking for some follow-through today. And the question is now is how much more does this rally have to go and what should we do with it? Over the last three days, the market's been building in some bullish kind of action in the markets. We had a very nice reflexive rally, 5.5% rally last Thursday following the CPI report. Markets opened down about 2%, rallied all the way back into positive territory. Importantly, holding support at these recent bottoms where the market had been building support. On Friday, market came back down, tested that support, and then yesterday bounced very nicely off of that. Now, we closed yesterday right at the 20-day moving average. Now, that 20-day moving average has been resistance during this entire downturn since this August peak in the markets that we saw following that July to August rally. That 20-day moving average continued to be really important resistance for the markets. Today, we're going to attempt to break above that level. And with markets set to open up about 500 points this morning, that is going to happen. If we can get above that 20-day moving average, hold that level here, there's a very decent shot back to the 50-day moving average, which is currently running right around 3,900 on the S&P. So again, our first target of resistance after today will be 3,900. This morning, we're going to trade north of 3,700 on the S&P. Now, again, a push up to 3,900 most likely. That would be the first area to start reducing a little bit of equity exposure. Now, your gut instinct is going to be at this point, oh, there's going to be more coming. I want to stay in. I want to try to get everything out of the rally. Don't do that. Just as a lot of investors were down here at the bottom looking to sell because they were afraid the markets were going to go lower, we were saying, be careful here because we're very oversold, very bearish. We're going to get a rally. Here's the rally. The question is, is how far will this rally go? And the answer is nobody knows. So at 3,900-ish, once we get back towards that 50-day moving average, reduce some exposure. Back in June and July, we cleared that 50-day moving average and actually retested the 200. That level right now, if we're able to get above the 50-day, we're talking about 4,100 on the S&P. So that's another 200 points on the S&P above the 50-day moving average. Sell at 3,900, sell some more at 4,100. Likely, that's going to be about the magnitude of this rally over the next month or so. Again, as we move into next year, we still haven't accounted for three of the 75 basis point rate hikes that are coming into the system, much less the one in November, December, and then early next year. So again, lots of rate hikes, slowing the economy down, slowing earnings down. This is not the bottom of the market. The, the bottom of the market is still coming, but that'll be next year as we get into a recession. So be careful here. Make sure and sell into this rally, reduce some exposure, raise some cash, rebalance your risk. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes on markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.